Welcome to another aviation adventure and my second channel, where I post all the shorter flights in between as well as YouTube shorts. Today we are flying from India to Bangkok on Thai Lion Air, a budget airline that once started in Indonesia, where it currently operates over 100 planes and which I tried a couple of times. But Lion Air is also having a little base in Thailand, so today we are having a closer look at their onboard product and operations. So please join me on a short little hop to the Kingdom of Southeast Asia. Guys, beautiful good evening from Mumbai here in India at the Taj Santa Cruz, one of the most iconic airport hotels in the world. It has the best runway views. I'd like to show you the runway views, but unfortunately it's dark, so it is not much to see. Um, flying to Bangkok tonight from Terminal 2, which is one of the most beautiful airport buildings in the world. So let's do this. Let's go to Thailand. A quick hotel review before I head to the airport. While the Taj Santa Cruz offers some great views over the runway, making it very F-geek friendly, the rooms in the hotel are rather average and really dated. So personally, I didn't enjoy the stay, given it easily charges you over $200 a night. Also, the staff at the hotel seems rather bored and unmotivated. So in terms of service, it wasn't that nice either. So if you're looking for a good hotel around the airport, don't stay at the Taj. It takes 10 to 15 minutes from the hotel to Terminal 2, which is hosting all the international departures in and out of Mumbai. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, have a good night. So guys, and here we are, welcome to Mumbai International Airport, Terminal 2. This is where all the international flights depart from. And this uh, airport building, this terminal, is one of the most beautiful in the world. And it stands testament for the rise of India and the superpower it has become. And uh, it looks even more stunning from the inside. So let's go and let's check in for our Thai Lion Air flight to Bangkok. And here we are, welcome to Terminal 2, which opened in 2014 and is without a doubt India's most beautiful. However, Terminal 1, which is hosting all the budget airlines, remains an absolute nightmare. Thai Lion Air is operating a daily overnight flight from Mumbai to Bangkok's old airport Don Muang. The flight is without a doubt the cheapest options between the two mega cities. However, the flight time departing at 10 minutes past midnight isn't really my preferred travel time especially on a budget airline. So this is done, all checked in. According to the gate agent, my row is still empty. Our hope is gonna stay this way. It's an overnight flight, try to sleep, nap. Um, but yeah, now let's uh, head airside. Huh? Yeah, YouTube. You wanna say hello? Yes? Say hello. I <laughs> know, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Who brings a coconut? Coconut. Yeah, the travel. Somebody travels with a coconut. No, not allowed. Not, not allowed. Good to know. See you guys. Uh, it's uh, Josh Cahill. Yeah. All right. See you guys. So it's almost midnight. I reached the gate. Uh, Thai Lion Air 77-800 has landed as well. But right now I'm seriously questioning my decision making. Uh, what was I thinking booking a Thai Lion Air flight, leaving at midnight and getting to Bangkok at like 5.30 a.m., the worst possibly time you could arrive. Um, I don't know what I, I was like too eager and I was like ah oh, you know Josh you can do this easy you're young you've done that before many times and I've done that many times before the problem is every time I did it I said I'm never gonna do it again and here I am once again four hours on a packed 737-800 on a low budget airline 
After four days of hardcore traveling, I only had four flights, Sri Lankan Airlines, Vistara, Akasa, back and forward. This morning, I was on another flight with Akasa coming back to Mumbai. So, I don't know. Sometimes I really make poor decisions. <laughs> But now I have to go through it. It's not like that I can say, ah, you know what, I'm not going to review it. I'm going to do it. Because this is what it is. Unfiltered, real life travel. Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes you have to go where it hurts. That's what I always say. <laughs> It was then time to board my flight to Bangkok and Thai Lion Air is currently operating a fleet of 11 planes, operating Thank the 737-800 as well as the Dash 900. My plane today was the 800 series, the backbone of their operation. The plane was originally delivered in 2016 and has been flying with the airline ever since. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Once I stepped on board, I was greeted by some rather exhausted and sleepy crew, which completed a five-hour flight from Bangkok at this time of the day, with another five hours of duty ahead of them. I can literally feel their pain when looking into their eyes. The plane features 189 seats in a very common 3-3 configuration, and given the young age of the plane, the cabin looked very old school and dated. Hi, how are you? Uh, 33F, right here. Awesome, awesome, thank you. So guys, and here you are, welcome on board this absolute dinosaur of an airplane, uh, of a 737-800. I don't know what the history is of this plane, I haven't checked it, but it has been in service for quite some time. Um, but what I can't remember is that the uniforms of Lion Air look that nice. I think they introduced new ones because um, it kind of has a touch of Singapore Airlines, but I like it. Crew was really lovely, up on uh, boarding, really helpful. But yeah, the legroom situation here is rather limited. And uh, yeah, I don't know really what to expect from the next four hours on the slide. I don't even know whether there's food included because you couldn't pre-book any meal or anything like that. So, but it's, I guess that's something we're gonna figure out in the next uh, hours flying to Bangkok, not to Savannah Boom. We are flying to Don Myong, however, to pronounce that one, the old airport of Bangkok, um, which is now mainly served by low-cost carriers and uh, serves for domestic flights mainly as well. There might be exceptions. <laughs> Red tab sharply. Additional inflation is possible. We then made our way to the runway for an on-time departure out of Mumbai. And while we were climbing out of the airport, the passenger next to me would still FaceTime his friend, which is such a weird behavior if you ask me. However, this is going to be the shortest flight review in the history of my channel, since there is literally nothing to review. No food was served or available for purchase, and all there was to do was to sleep, which was an awful experience as well, since the seat doesn't feature a headrest. So constantly wake up. Let's say it was just a very typical low budget airline flight. But perhaps right now is a good time to subscribe to my second channel if you don't want to miss out on some extra content. Thank you. We then started our descent into Bangkok Old Airport, which is primarily used by all the budget airlines such as Air Asia, Lion Air, or Nok Air. The airport can be quite a pain in the butt, since it's very crowded at times, but luckily not at 5 am in the morning. The benefit of coming in that early was no lines at the immigration, and within minutes I found myself waiting for a taxi outside. Early morning arrivals really screw up your sleeping rhythm and leave you with a big headache in the morning. Hence, I try to avoid overnight flights whenever I can. But what do you make of overnight flights? Do you enjoy them? Do you try to avoid them whenever you can? Please let me know in the comment sections below. 
I want to hear your opinion on those kind of flights. So guys, here we are finally at the hotel. Um, summing up my experience with Thai Lion Air. Oh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> that was really bad. But I mean, this is what you get when you try to be cheap. No? So, um, what can you do? Lesson learned. Would I recommend Thai, Air uh, Thai Airways? Thai Airways, yes. Lion Air? Anything longer than an hour? Probably not. Definitely not overnight. Especially like, and a good seat makes such a difference. Even on a budget airline, there was no headrest. It was just, there's no leg room, there's nothing. It was, it was, I don't know where that plane came from anyways. It didn't look very branded of flying. It was, it, it was just not fun. And then the crowd was the worst. But here I am, I'm desperately in need of a good night's sleep. Though the day has already started. It's always when you look at it, you know, when you're in the comfort of your home and you feel energetic and you look at it, ah, no problem, I can do this. And then in reality, I think like, well, what was I thinking? Why? Why? Josh, I don't understand. All right, guys, this is it. I'm going to sleep. And uh, guys, wherever you are, have a safe trip.